This is a question that I know a lot of people want to know the real answer to. Okay, when I came around Tadas, like I told you, I was not under him and I did not even have any plans to be under him. I was fine with being Baby Miho. I just liked to dance around Tadas because I don't care what nobody say, even us being how we are, I will always give him credit for being one of the best dancers in the world. One of the best dancers, all time dancers, still one of my favorite dancers. Cause I love dance. That don't have nothing to do with anything else. He's still one of my favorite dancers. But I wasn't planning on being under him, but he was grooming me to be a little homie because he liked my style. He liked me, he liked how I, we was having fun. You got this young kid from Buffalo, New York, who's totally different from the young kids in LA, who's creative, who's into everything that you into. When you say, let's do something, he like, how high, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? We turning up, you get what I'm saying? So, and then plus I was just getting out of the gangbang shit, so I still had that type of energy. You know what I mean? I still had that type of energy. So, what happens is, one day, we go shopping, right? We go to the mall, and Chaz is like, yo, um, he's like, I'm gonna show you how I shop. He was like, I, I budget. And I give it to you, Chaz. You did, what you taught me, I still live by that today with certain things when it comes to the dress and stuff. I'll give him that. We went shopping, I'll never forget because he wasn't into the Jordans and all that. He was actually into some shoes that were comfortable, that looked good when you dance. And he had brought some Asics. It was some blue ones and some brown ones. If you look at the DVDs, Crumping versus Breaking, you'll see Asics that we was wearing. He brought me a pair, he brought him a pair. So now he bought me some shoes. It's like, I got a new outfit. And yeah, he, he really like, I was a cheap date. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he got the shoes, he got me the outfit. You know what I'm saying? I'm living here. I'm like, my life has changed. Like, so I'm already starting to feel like I'm his little homie because of what he's doing. So we had a brother by the name of, I'm not gonna mention his name because he may not want his name mentioned. But we know who this person is. And he was into um, preaching. His uncle was a preacher and he looked up to his uncle because his uncle was always giving messages saying that God said. So we believe that since this was his uncle and his uncle was saying God said and we believed him that he had the same power that his uncle had. So he calls Chaz when we at the mall and he says I need to talk to you and Mickey about something. Right? And I'm like, I'm wondering what it is because at this time in my life, like I am in a state of adventure. Everything is amazing. I've never seen this part of life before. I'm seeing industry stuff. I'm around nothing but the best. I'm like, you know, like my mind is, is it was different. Like it was just amazing. So we get to the house and I'm like, he got a message from God. So I'm taking this to heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a message from God. So he says to me and Chaz, he said, y'all stand right here next to each other. Then he started to like say something about my life and why Chaz was important in my life. But it made sense because what he was talking about, no lie, at that moment, I'm like, well, yeah, this is true. But duh, it was true. All you had to do was watch and listen and you would have, you know, you would have been able to say those things that you said. But I was young, I didn't break stuff down. So he says, look, God said, keep the baby in your name and put Tada's name after it. Remember, I'm baby Miho. So he says, keep the baby in my name and put Tada's name, which will make me baby Tada's. So, I'm thinking this is a message from God. <laughs> so I went with it. 
Oh yeah, God told me I'm baby Todd Oz. I'm really baby Todd Oz. And he with it, he already wanted me to be under him anyways. You get what I'm saying? Cause he came and told me like, bro, I was already feeling that too. And when I'm listening to him talk, I'm like, that's crazy cause I wasn't feeling that. Like I, I wasn't, I was, like, I was already feeling like you should be like my little homie and we do woo and I'm like, so now I'm, I'm like, I'm baby Todd Eyes, and I'm like, I'm baby Todd Eyes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, this makes me one of the best. How did I get here? It would be times me and him would just be sitting there talking, and I'd be looking at him, and I'm like, how am I next to you right now? You get what I'm saying? Like, and I know that it was real, because I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret, okay? It ain't really a secret that he probably don't even know, but he gonna know if he see this. Chez used to keep a diary. I was a nosy ass little kid. <laughs> when you put the two together, what do you get? A nosy ass kid reading his diary. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I'm like, this is Tana's diary, man. Like what's in here? What is in here, bro? So I opened the diary, right? And I seen some other stuff, like something, but then I seen a part where I seen my name. It said Mickey. So I'm like, okay. So I close it, I'm like, what is he saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what is he saying? What is he saying? I'm like, God, oh, should I see it? Should I see it? Cause I always thought the worst, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, now I'm gonna see it. So I opened it up. And he said, today, after taking Mickey to Ruckus house, to the mansion, and him seeing the mansion and being there and seeing how happy it was, I mean, seeing how happy he was from seeing all that stuff, it made me happy to do that. And I want him to do stuff like how I do. Like, he was saying stuff like that, and I read this. Now, being an adult, now I think he probably purposely did that and left it there. I don't know, but I seen that and it made me feel special. You know what I'm saying? This is his diary, the diary of Todd Oz. And I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? He, he was saying all type of stuff like he never met nobody like me and all type of stuff in his diary. Like, and I'm just like, dang, like, and yes, if you're seeing this now, yes, I did read your diary, and I've seen what you really said about me in your diary. So, that made me be like, I thought I was gonna be Baby Todd Eyes forever. Because I did not look at it as a dance name. I looked at this like a brother, and we represent this until the day we die. I will always be Baby Todd Eyes. That's how I looked at it, because I'm from Buffalo, New York. Loyalty is everything. Our, we don't have the gangs that like they have out here. Everywhere in any, in any inner city in America has gangs, but people do it differently. Mm -hmm. Our gangs are our, our family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's your gang. When you get in trouble in New York, at some, hey, call your cousins. Out here, is call the homies. You know what I'm saying? Or unless you got a close family. But I really was like, I was at heart like, this is my brother. You know what I'm saying? He was taking care of me. He was young. You know, the first Father's Day that came around, I got him a Father's Day card because that's the role that he was playing in my life. I believed in him. He was taking me to church. We was going to church every Friday. You know what I mean? The pastor, Minister David, I can say his name because that's who you need to watch out for too. But that pastor was Chad's spiritual father. So he would be giving him information all the time saying, God said this, God said that. God said this, God said that. So we really was living by the orders of this man. That's why I'm protective now in this movement because we let a lot of insider, outsiders come inside and dictate who don't do nothing, who have nothing to do with this, who was not even influenced by it. They just seen it as a benefit or a come up. 